hello everyone so today we are going to create this uh, sword effect so it's sort of like a vortex that goes around the sword this uh, like a flame vortex and this is like a frost vortex so these are the effects that we are going to work on today so this is the same effect so actually we have already worked on these effects this like electric sword and some flaming sword dripping sword effect so yeah let's see how to implement this one today right so this is the fire sword effect same as here that we have already worked on so yeah i hope you remember these details the way i implemented this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this fire sword it's just only to get some references to material and copy some other details from that effect but other than that uh, you it's not it may not be necessary for you to have followed the previous videos so all right let me duplicate this and this effect and i'll name it ns uh, vortex and this is what we get so here we what we are doing is uh, uh let me uh, disable this other stuff other nodes that i'm not using and keep only the fire if i keep blood smoke that is also visible but yeah, i don't need it so here basically what happens is uh, these particles are emitting in a shape of a side static mesh in this case sword lay we are using this one as the reference to get the surface that emits these particles so right first let me disable that and add an emitter mm, fountain just like this and here i'm going to disable shape location and add velocity and copy also the disable gravity force and perhaps drag to and copy these two nodes static mesh and static mesh location so basically now we can see the particles are spawned along the way of the uh, along the position surface of the sword so if i replace the sword effect instead of fire sword if i assign vortex this is what you get now as you can see it doesn't look like anything so all right first let me add some velocity i think it should the velocity should be added along the let me reduce it like 20 30 and it velocity should, should be applied along the sword so oh it should be to the opposite side okay and if let me uh, reduce the size i'll make it non-uniform one to ten so we have some shape now it looks like this and here let's align it to the velocity 
now this is what we get and uh, I think uh, let's now add a vortex velocity or force let's try force so this is how it looks so actually I want it to rotate around the sword so the vortex axis should be same as the velocity axis so one is it correct I don't think so right. let's have 2000 because you know, I need it to be faster and also we need to have origin pull amount otherwise the particles will move away faster this is how it looks Hmm. Right. So axis is not correct. I think. Uh. Here, let's see if we can link to the owner y axis. Ah, oh, yeah. Now it looks correct here. Yeah. Now it is. Uh, now they are rotating around the sword, which is exactly what we need. And these particles, they seem too far, they are going too far away from the sword. So that is not necessary, so maybe we should reduce 0 0.3, 0 0.7. Okay. Hmm, it should move away from the sword faster. I mean, along the sword's direction. So, this one, what if I have something like 90, 110, okay, and let's increase this one rate. Oh, now it looks good. But the uh, problems we have is this part kind of looks dense, densely populated with particles. That happens because of the here. We have this vortex origin offset. So if I move it, you can see that uh, dense position is changing oh 50 seems good how about plus 30 all right now we have somewhat the shape of sword hmm. this is also not good it looks odd here look oh yeah now it looks all right okay um, i think initially if the particles have a lower scale uh, this uh, we would see the sword more clearly so here let's add the scale sprite size node and let's choose something like this so initially it's small see i think that effect works good but now i kind of feels like we need to increase the rate okay and now of course we need to match the colors so yeah actually i want to first focus on something like a frosty effect so effect color okay 
but since it is too bright we don't really see the details of the sword so maybe 200 okay now 200 now let's work on the color of the particle effect itself and one more thing this velocity instead of in cone mm, what if we make it linear okay and also if we want the particles to spawn uh, have a wider radius when they rotate around the sword we could uh, do this add some offset like this right okay now yeah we want to I wanted to work on the color so here it's at the uh, color node and I'll turn this into a color from curve okay so yeah i want it to have some bluish color with more brightness starting like this it should be true too bright now see so maybe it should become white just white in the middle Not enough brightness so let's pull it back and increase to thousand okay let's move this a bit further oh yeah now it looks like something okay and few more things to note here is uh, if you reduce this velocity let's say minus 20 this is how it looks see so it looks like a different effect so it's not moving away to the direction that sword is uh, moving towards the direction the sword is pointing so it sort of stays around it uh, rotating um, but I like the look we had before maybe like with 50 we have something like this but in the 100 we have somewhat like sword shape in the particle itself here so I like it okay so yeah this is how it looks all right and uh, to make that a uh, fire like vortex effect around the sword let me duplicate this sword and select the sword effect here I'll rename this sword vortex frost and let me duplicate it and name sword vortex fire and let me assign it to this one close it here and open the sword vortex fire 
so we can modify this so here mm, oh we already have no this won't work now here we already have a range of the uh, gradient so let's first start with some yellowish color like this and here let's turn it into red oh, first we should change the sword color to red so that it matches with the effect Mm, but this doesn't really look like fire yet so maybe oh now there's no let's have something like 500 here not quite let's try 20 delete this one thousand this looks interesting Why is this pink? Okay. I think this looks like fire now. Not exactly, but something like a fire effect. Yeah, I did more so, some more fine tuning. And this is the final look okay so yeah just like that you can just ch keep changing colors and create uh, modify the same effect to look have different looks and yeah i'm gonna stop this episode right here and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron class See you in another episode. Goodbye.